You know, it's interesting that Carol O'Lynn is from Canada, and she grew up in very harsh, cold conditions in a very uncomfortable, uninsulated home. That made an impression on her. And at this um, stage of life, she values quality and she wanted to be comfortable. And that, and she wanted her home to be healthy and they don't want to spend a lot of money on utility bills. La House was a major component in the construction of Carol and Thomas O'Lynn's house. We uh, went to La House uh, because we needed help. They were not aware of some of the best building practices that we demonstrate in La House. The house definitely inspired us uh, to uh, go uh, the whole way and uh, it made it so much easier. La House Resource Center is an educational facility and associated with our sustainable housing program. What that means is it is a showcase of solutions for our climate and conditions on how to balance and to integrate five benefits. One is resource efficiency, that's all about energy conservation, water conservation, environmental protection. Second is durability, particularly in terms of our natural hazards. Floods, hurricanes, termites, and of course moisture and decay. Third is healthy home concepts of good indoor air quality and universal design for all ages and stages of the life cycle and we want to balance those with what's practical and convenient. And various strategies for accomplishing all of those are exhibited here at La House. Uh, Carol and Thomas O'Lynn uh, dropped in over at La House and they were fascinated by the features that we uh, demonstrate at the house. This was the beginning of our research uh, into how to build uh, a home that uh, we would enjoy the rest of our lives. The Alins are a great success story because they started coming to La House before it was even finished to really study and learn all that they could to help them plan their own home. So Carol continued to come by on a frequent basis and would study each component and decided to adapt them for their own house. When the Olins decided to build a new home, they came to the house searching for ways to build a sturdy home. And they came across the Fortified for Safer Living certification system. And at La House, we showed different features that apply to the certification, and they went around La House, looked, did their research, and decided which features they wanted to put in their new home. They wanted to know exactly how to do it so they could make sure that their contractor and their designers really produced what they wanted. The Olens have a really wonderful lighting package. They're utilizing a lot of the new Energy Star lighting fixtures that are fluorescent but high color. So they have the lighting quality we like in our homes and use about a third of the energy but also give off about a third of the heat of our typical condescent lights. And even more special are the type of recessed fixtures that they use. The typical recess can is like turbocharged air leakage. Their recess cans are not only energy efficient fixtures, but they're airtight and they're a type that can be insulated over them. We call them ICAT, and that's what anyone who's going to use a recess can should choose. In addition, they selected very high performance windows, high tech windows that let plenty of light in without letting all that heat and the sun in. 
They did rigorous air sealing. They caulked, they sealed. They sealed the house wraps around the house for an added layer of air barrier. And they made sure that their duct system and their HVAC didn't leak as well. They also made sure that all the doors were uh, sealed properly, which would keep moisture out, and being sure that all the air ducts were properly sealed with mastic and covered. In addition to the advanced framing, which is using two by six studs spaced 24 inches apart, that allows more insulation and fewer gaps in the insulation. And then they filled those walls and insulated over their ceilings with uh, a damp spray cellulose insulation. And it sprayed in and then trimmed off so you have complete coverage with no voids and no compressions, which you often find in typical installations. And all of these measures really help comfort as well as energy efficiency. La House being an exhibit, it, it shows um, a wide range of solutions. Things are not done just one way because one way is not best for everyone. There's so much to pick from and uh, decisions to be made. We had a lot of help uh, at La House. Uh, it, it was very beneficial to us. Here is our insulation wall, which shows a whole range of types properly installed. So ranging from bibs, blown in blankets, even cotton, recycled cotton insulation, various types of spray foam, and the damp spray cellulose insulation like the Olins used in their home. They wanted to, to do something that was good for the environment and did not take a toll on it. They have a beautiful site and have worked hard to preserve the nature and the trees and the quality of that site and to build their home to make it eco-friendly as well as a good, comfortable, high quality home. They can enjoy the benefits while at the same time feeling good about doing their part for our environmental quality. La House is a certified fortified for safer living home. It has features that mitigate against both wind and flood hazards. A fortified for safer living house is a code plus home, so you're going above and beyond what the code tells you to build for your house. The uh, Institute for Business and Home Safety, IBHS, identifies certain hazards and risks that are associated with where you live, and you build to prevent, to mitigate against these hazards. And so in the southeast, a lot of those hazards are uh, hurricanes or fires or flood or wind. And so for the Olind home, we really looked at the hurricane hazard, which are wind and flood, and made sure we mitigated against any damage associated with them. We've had uh, many uh, people, uh, both uh, relatives, friends, neighbors, uh, interested in paying us a visit uh, during the next storm. The house includes a, a wide range of cutaways to show the building systems and the assemblies and the various techniques and products to ensure that each of them was done in a way appropriate to our climate and will be durable and efficient. The house shows many different features for building a fortified for safer living home. It gives you choices. It, you know, if your main factor is cost, if your main factor is aesthetics, if your main factor is how quickly your home can be built, La House demonstrates the different features that can do that. And that is one of the reasons why the Olins decided to come to La House and see you know, what, how they were going to build a fortified for safe living home. I think uh, we'll um, find it quite easy uh, facing the future and any obstacles it has and we'll have lots of friends dropping by. Carol and Thomas were, were very interested in being sure that all the flashing at their windows were done properly uh, because that has been a 
big problem in the construction industry for housing. This is a really, really important um, building, best building practice that, um, that you can learn at La House and that the Olins did ensure that their home uh, conformed to. It shows proper moisture control detailing, how to overlap and interact house wraps, drainage gap materials and the window flashing system with the siding or the brick veneer so that you don't end up with moisture and decay problems which are really quite common. They wanted to go with a metal roof for its high durability but they chose what we call a cool color roof. It's a new technology kind of pigment that reflects heat waves even with the dark colors. If it wasn't for La House, uh, we certainly wouldn't have uh, built uh, properly using the right materials for our hot, humid climate here in Louisiana. Carol, being a nurse, was very interested in being sure that she incorporated healthy home features into her house. To make it healthy, you always have to be looking for how you can control moisture. You want to keep the relative humidity in your house between 40 and 60 so that you can keep pests out and you can feel comfortable in your space. It helps people who have asthma. So it's very important that you control the moisture and uh, what moisture brings into the house. While you're building, you want to be conscious of uh, materials that would have uh, VOCs, which is volatile organic compounds. If you look at the woods uh, or composite, wood composites, be sure that they're using a low VOC binder. Uh, paints, now you can purchase paints that have either low VOC or almost no VOC. Uh, they might cost slightly more, but you can definitely tell the difference between one that has VOCs because it smells. One of the wonderful simple features that, that are included are air transfer grills over the doors or in other locations in bedrooms and uh, any room that where you might want to close the door. In a typical home we have one return air grill and then when you close the door it can't get back to that return. So what that ends up doing is it pressurizes those bedrooms, depressurizes the common areas of the house, causes your house to leak air and to suck in air in different locations which is unbalanced. It's an air quality as well as an energy saving feature and it even increases comfort. Universal Design has been around for quite a while. It's gained popularity because the population is aging. Uh, most of us are going to be over 60 by the year 2013. We made uh, the floor plan Universal Design which we thought we wouldn't need until uh, many more years in the future. But uh, when I broke my ankle, uh, I uh, ended up using my handicap shower and was very happy to have it. Universal Design gives us flexibility. Not all of us are going to be in wheelchairs, but by using Universal Design, you're going to make life more comfortable for yourself. The Olins were eager to integrate the universal design principles into their design. Their living room, kitchen, and dining room is open, so it's easy to maneuver. Uh, they have a countertop in their kitchen which a wheelchair can roll around if it was needed. They also uh, utilize wide hallways. They have a bathroom that a wheelchair can turn around completely. They also have planned for future crab bars because this is going to be their last house. And like most of us in my age group, 
we want to stay in our house as long as we can. So if you make your house practical and uh, use universal principles in it, you'll be able to live in the house much longer. Because the Olins decided to build a fortified for safer living home and built it correctly, they can have the peace of mind and know that you know they're safe in their home. We're so much happier here uh, and uh, enjoying the benefits of our home. They've taken the time to integrate the healthy home issues, universal design, and a really easy maintained home. Going to La House, uh, if you intend to uh, build, is a must. We sort of adopted the Olens and the Olens Home Building Project as a good result demonstration of showing how some local folks in the real world have applied what they've learned here to get a high performance home. Go and build your dream like we did.